Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we explore the mysteries of the past and the wonders of faith. Today, we embark on a journey through time and scripture to uncover the visage of one of history's most pivotal figures, Jesus of Nazareth. The Bible doesn't provide a clear description of Jesus' physical appearance, and over the centuries, artists have depicted him in various ways. Historically, Jesus was a Jewish man, so it's likely that he had features common among the people of the Middle East during that time superscript 1. The genealogy of Jesus, as chronicled in the New Testament, reveals that he often blended seamlessly into the crowds, eluding detection, Luke 4 verse 30. The Gospel of Matthew meticulously documents Jesus' ancestry from the dawn of humanity with Adam, through the lineage of Abraham, culminating with his earthly parents, Joseph and Mary, Matthew 1 verses 1 to 17. This lineage is significant because it suggests Jesus bore a resemblance to his contemporaries in Israel, making him indistinguishable from the general populace. We can infer that Jesus had a darker skin complexion, darker eye color and darker hair color because he was born to a Jewish family. Furthermore, Jesus' vocation as a carpenter sheds light on his likely appearance. In an era devoid of modern machinery, carpenters engaged in strenuous labor, which suggests that Jesus was robust, with well-developed muscles and calloused hands from his manual work. The scriptures of the Old Testament, particularly in Isaiah 53, foretell that the Messiah would not be distinguished by physical allure or majestic presence. Isaiah portrays him as a tender shoot sprouting from parched soil, devoid of regal splendor. This implies that Jesus possessed an ordinary appearance, without notable traits to set him apart visually. The multitudes were drawn to Jesus not for his physical appearance, which was unremarkable, but for the profound impact of his words and teachings. Unlike the religious figures of his time, Jesus spoke with a unique and compelling authority, as noted in Matthew 7 verses 28 to 29. What did Jesus look like on the cross? The Bible, in the chapters of Isaiah 52 and 53, speaks pointedly of the suffering that Jesus endured as his crucifixion approached. It is written in Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 that he bore our pains and sorrows, and through his chastisement, we find healing. Visualize the profound transformation in Jesus' appearance after enduring such physical and emotional anguish. Picture the expression of endurance as nails were driven into his hands, the visage of grace as a crown of thorns was pressed upon his brow, the countenance of forgiveness as he pardoned Peter, and above all, the gaze of unconditional love as he looks across time to offer forgiveness for the transgressions of humanity. What does Jesus look like in heaven? In the visionary pages of Revelation, chapters 1 and 19, we find a celestial depiction of Jesus Christ in his ascended, glorified state. John's vision presents the Son of Man arrayed in a long robe reaching his feet, cinched with a golden sash across his chest, Revelation 1 verse 13. His hair and head are described as pure white, akin to wool or snow, and his eyes blaze with the intensity of fire, Revelation 1 verse 14. In his right hand, he holds seven stars, and his feet gleam as if refined in a furnace, suggesting a lustrous, burnished bronze appearance, Revelation 1 verses 15 to 16. The imagery continues in Revelation 19, where Jesus is depicted returning to earth, regally adorned with many crowns, riding a white horse. He bears a name known only to himself, Revelation 19 verses 11 to 12. He is portrayed as the sovereign ruler, the king of kings, and lord of lords, with these titles inscribed on his robe and thigh, signifying his supreme authority, Revelation 19 verse 16. The voice of Jesus is likened to the resounding blast of a trumpet and the powerful roar of rushing waters, emphasizing his divine presence and power, Revelation 1 verses 10 and 15, 19 colon 6. Jesus in Daniel's Visions. It is interesting to note that Daniel describes Jesus with nearly identical characteristics. Daniel 10 verses 5 to 6 describes Jesus in the following way. Dressed in linen, Daniel 10 verse 5. Pure golden sash around waist, Daniel 10 verse 5. Body looked like beryl, Daniel 10 verse 6. Face like flashes of lightning, Daniel 10 verse 6. Eyes like flaming torches, Daniel 10 verse 6. Arms and feet like polished bronze, Daniel 10 verse 6. Voice like the sound of a multitude, Daniel 10 verse 6. As we conclude today's episode of Celestial Chronicles, let's ponder the profound mystery of Jesus' appearance. How might the carpenter from Nazareth, with hands worn from labor, have truly looked? Can we imagine the Messiah's face, marked not by earthly beauty, but by divine compassion? In our quest for understanding, we've traversed through scriptures, envisioning Jesus as a man of the people, indistinguishable in a crowd, yet extraordinary in presence. We've reflected on his suffering and the transformation it wrought upon his visage. And we've gazed into the heavens, where he is depicted with majesty and power, transcending our earthly conceptions. What does this imagery stir within you? Does it challenge your perceptions, or does it bring comfort? 
As you reflect, remember that the essence of Jesus' appearance is less about the physical and more about the spiritual impact he has had on humanity. How do you envision Jesus in your own life? Is he the gentle carpenter, the suffering servant, or the glorified king? Share your thoughts and join the conversation as we continue to explore the mysteries of faith together. Thank you for tuning in to Celestial Chronicles. If you're seeking more insights and discussions, don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning, for the answers are as limitless as the stars.